but I think it's gonna run because he bled in it many times. <laughs> Literally. Literally. What we have here is Bischoff money and t-shirts and a hat for Tony. Because we, we are, to? it's my birthday, so we're going to go pick up, our, I think you got it done just for my birthday. But we're gonna go pick up the engine for Charlie, which we're very excited about. Brad's super excited. You can tell. <laughs> Are you coming? Are you clocking out? Clocking out, checking out. I thought about it, but I gotta get Tony's card done. Yeah. More drugs. We gotta be able to pay fish off, boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need a big brain for like 0.2 seconds before you leave. Holding us up, alright. Yeah. I remember. Freaky Todd, he's holding up process, dude. We're trying to go get horse power. Trying to fix this jalopy. Poor Tony. <laughs> He's getting close. Jalopy. Jalopy. Tony's jalopy. <laughs> it's a fast jalopy, but it. Yeah. We're trying to unjalopy it, but a little bit at a time. Every time it comes back, it gets a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> you get your stuff figured out? Yeah, we just. Trying to fit tubes in there and seal off the firewall while I do it so Tony doesn't get burned if things ever go that way. <laughs> well, Tony's known <laughs> to send it that way. <laughs> yeah, it, it's getting there. It's just a lot. I'm gonna have to remake this one because as I close that gap up and sweep this forward to close up the gap, it's. Half your side looks nice. So it had a. It had a the mid plate in it before was only actually an eighth inch thick mid plate, which is not near enough for the kind of horsepower that Tony has. And then it actually, there's a few different ways you can do these, but it had a Chevy uh, bolt pattern mid plate. So now it actually has the Hemi bolt pattern, the correct one, the thicker plate, all that stuff. So, yeah. Be way stronger. We got tubes just on the mat on each side that are tied into the frame. So be a lot more stout nice. put ripping the firewall nice. yeah the firewall was literally ripping out of it so, well, fix that all right todd we're leaving i'll go to you you have the best birthday motor surprise you've ever had it is a birthday motor surprise i hope i go motor boating later though <laughs> you motor boating son of a bitch you old sailor you i know sound good something bad <laughs> This boys, uh -oh. have to get another Duramax motor while we're up there. Yeah, just bang on it a bit. Yeah, boom, boom, that's boom, what boom. I usually yeah, do. I just give it a little smack, a little pump. Guess it's not a go start. All right, let's go to my truck. Oh, reliable, fires right out. Yeah, dude, listen to her. Let's make this kitty purr. Really lucky that the dish off's always it takes us 30 minutes a year, which is sweet. So especially racing the nitrous car. We need to come here a lot, it seems like. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, we almost made it to the end of the season yeah, before we had a parts failure. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't a two dollar failure, it was a parts failure. Anybody home? Where's the bell? Uh, Martin gets the two cars above the doorway. Yeah, that's prime real estate right there. Oh, Martin's got one over here too. Oh, he has got one up there. Well, that's because Martin's here to giving out pictures. Apparently, we're not. <laughs> yeah, it's messed up. There's Martin again. Somebody wants to come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is Martin's too, dude. It's a big trophy? Yeah, that one, yeah. That big hammer. The Thor hammer. It's the Martin Lobby. Yeah, dude, this is messed up. I'm going to start stealing some of this stuff to get it out of here. <laughs> Make some Start loot. replacing our stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'll say we should take that trophy. <laughs> 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 Dude, call yeah, Martin. Put it in our lobby and send yeah. Martin and Christy a picture. <laughs> There's the boss. I'll be back in a second. Okay. <laughs>
2,000 years later. Are you really selling t-shirts for $10? Are those prices still accurate? Yep. You're too cheap. I know I am. That, that's why I, I give 90% of my shirts away. So well, yeah, we know that. That's the best advertising on the planet. Yeah, but we sell t-shirts for $28 a piece. I know I should, but see, you how got, many did we got, sell this week? Because you guys are <laughs> marketing machines. Yeah. Well, we were thinking so, about buying all so of them. We got a proposition here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy every single t-shirt you got for $10. <laughs> we're going to put them on our website for $25. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Deal. <laughs> The only place you get fish off t-shirts is through yeah, exclusively <laughs> from Tim Soldier. Exclusive dealer. That might be smart. Cool beans. Yeah, baby, look at that shit. I'm gonna be styled. <laughs> we gotta come over here and get Tony organized with the <laughs> So you see, you see why I don't like to sell them. Say, it takes me an hour just to get them out. You gotta come down to our shop and see our, our shipping department. Yeah, we'll take you to lunch. You know, that sounds like a good idea. So on the video, just go down and comment if you would love to see a giveaway with Tony. Oh, and we can have him on the podcast. Yeah, I, we do need to have him on the podcast. What kind of engine, what kind of engine would you want to give away? I mean, like a street engine or a... Yeah, yeah I think it's street. like, you know, like a five or six hundred horsepower LS or something that you could run on. Kind of see what the main features would be. You know, you kind of want to put a budget in there kind of deal. Just like the most... What would be the most popular thing? You know? yeah, yeah, well, comment. What motor would you? I mean, what kind of motor do you guys want? Yeah. We probably can't yeah. sell enough t-shirts to cover a nine fifty nine. Maybe you can. Yeah. You know, nor would a nine fifty nine fit in most people's vehicles. Yeah, like, <laughs> I got this S10, but this nine fifty nine is gonna look sick. Nine fifty nine and good, good Charlie Brown. You know, want to put Charlie Brown, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Get these guys that get loaded up. Oh, yeah. They got your, they got oh, your crinkle too, so yeah, it must have had your name on it. Already. Is one of your 959 pigs? Yes, it is. I was going to go take it back and just and then show it to you. And just, I'm just going to put your name on it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just start, we're just going to start selling stuff. Yeah. I hope we look at these valve covers. It should be okay, but yeah, they got big guns. All right. What we do is we welded a solid plug in there. And clearance it out. Now they just got two long studs in both of them. So oh, okay. okay. So cool. Yeah, I don't like the after way they, the guy after, after they sent the other one over, I got another set of my desk in it. They had the right number of holes, but the pattern wasn't even close. So I thought, oh well, that's what, gosh. like when I was trying to find valve cover gaskets for these cylinder heads, I, I ordered like three different part numbers and none of them fit 100% right. I'm like, Dude, I can't even find a valve cover gasket that fits it's some this thing. pretty old stuff. So, yeah. So anyways, that's why I gave up and I thought, you know, you might want to dress the welds up. He did okay. He, he did it. He's, he's really good. Oh, sweet. Well better. They got our billet flywheel on there. Nice. Oh, Pumped on that. that. Isaiah, these guys are just about ready. I'm going to show them their future engine. Okay. <laughs> so very yeah, we now, need that. <laughs> now, I've had billet valve covers ordered for three years for this thing and every time i call them, oh we're going to ship it shortly now we have we have two motors they both look exactly the same but i have a new manifold so this is getting kind of grungy looking so you'll get the new manifold i think that one looks nice <laughs> it's just dirty it's just they just hard to get it cleaned up i would really like to have the 59 charlie brown would it? i like that it's already fi <laughs> you guys run holly don't you uh well, wow, we were on a Haltech, but it's all you know, it's all the same. We'll we'll give it yep. Oh yeah, because you already got two. Yeah. What uh, uh how many t-shirts do we have to sell or buy? Uh, we have to do the math on that. So <laughs> Ten bucks a t-shirt. <laughs> That's a pretty easy math. Like, <laughs> Sixty-five thousand. Oh, it would be more than that. Six hundred fifty thousand t-shirts. What do I mean? Damn! Them turbo guys ain't gonna know what hit them when they get drove or well that we had already get ahead like, of them, but when they get a drove away kinda, from kinda them. It kind of looks like a 700 <laughs> cubic inch engine. Just, yeah, it doesn't look that much different than ours. It doesn't. It doesn't really. Look Does it? Yeah. I think it looks. What's the deck? You think it looks this? bigger? Yeah, definitely. Like Twelve three, I think. Was ours eleven two? I think ours was eleven two. Yeah. Now that yeah, other yeah. block you got here is like eleven seven. Yeah. No. That was 12 inch jack. Was it? That motor could be made bigger, that block there. That yeah. could be made over 800 cubes. So you have a completely new intake for Yes. Yep. Because we got two engines. 
and we had it built because I knew it was eventually going to sell them, and nobody's going to buy the two engines. They're going to want to buy one, so we yeah. had to we had to have the well, other. Well, I mean, depending we, on how many T-shirts we sell, you know, you may have two. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll say you've probably never seen a five-axis machine except if you're on. No, no. This place just keeps going. Yeah, there's Dave Hopper. Yeah, there's no oh, man. Them, is there? That's all right. Yep, nothing running. Dang. Nothing running. Tony not making no money. There's all hits. There's all hits. Hits has been CNC. That's cool. That's a really good that number. That's a big Victor tree head here. That's like what's on Ron Rhodes. All oh, that new motor here. <coughs> that is a big old head. Amazing. That's cool. Yeah. You still got all, yeah, all these are ready to be too. Yep. Oh, that's your 3D printer. Mm, big old 3D printer. Oh, you printer printed from, it back here. That 3D printer. I was hell. wondering where it went. I hate that. Thing. <laughs> I'll say it was up in the lobby forever. We, uh, you know, I had a 3D printed hood scoop, but they don't last for that plastic brittle. It's kind of heavy. Yeah. So we went through all the trouble. They printed a mold so they can make them out of carbon fiber. So oh, that's cool. Kind of cool. Mikey's about got, he's got the mold almost done. So we're gonna be doing some carbon fiber. That's cool. Stuff. So it's not that I wanna do it, but that's only, I don't, I don't know who to talk to to do that. And Mikey's done, made both, so he knew how to do it. So. Yeah. Yeah, we have a carbon guy that does our wings. That's what why we machine? have all this shit here. Oh, this is an old bugger here. This is three axes. That's the best thing ever bought. Yeah. Older sure. guy. Yep. It was in a, Tim Davis used to, he bought it, and he would bore blocks on it. That's all he did, bore blocks, so he had no hours on it. Yeah. Uh, just make shit on it. Yeah. Did you, you bought these new? Yeah, these are new, yeah. I bought that machine 15 years ago right there. Best thing I ever bought. Almost killed me. But <laughs> yeah, it's because, scary at the time. Well, at that time, that was almost 200, and it's like, oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah. And then and you don't know how to use it. So the first year, we didn't do nothing, you know, just tore shit up. But it took us about a year, and once we figured it out, that's second year it made money, and the third year, about four years it paid for itself. So. Yeah, that's so awesome. It is so it's scary just, to do well, that. Well, it's scary because you have to get the work in, and yeah. you have to develop the work, and you also figure out, because we're not machinists, but the reason we bought these machines is because they was made for non-machinists. The guy that designed the, for whatever you call it, how it runs. Yeah. Designed it for a guy just with a little mechanical aptitude to be able to be trained in two days to, to digitize and run it. It's the Apple versus Android. It's the Apple version. It's a user friendly, easier for the for, for somebody that the everyday know person. Yeah. So yeah. They actually flew me to Washington and made sure they showed it to me. They worked on it a couple of years. They had never sold one. They had them for a couple of years. And they flew me there, and, and I could probably in a day I could almost run it. Yeah. Uh, and I bought it because that's the, that serial number is number one or two. Hmm. Oh, cool. So, and then this is just identical to that one. It's an upgraded version, yeah. 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 That's cool. It is cool. But you know, these machines really took this, the cylinder head CNC world and moved it up a whole notch because it was kind of funny. You know, that, that head, the fifth axis, I guess you'd call it, it rocks like this. And the centroids and the, what would be another popular name? They, they all made fun of that head. Yeah. And uh, four years after they come out with it, they all got that head now. So it's yeah. kind of funny, they, they made fun of it and then they... Yeah, now they all have it. And they all have the, the digitizing stuff. Because before they come out with that, it would take about a week. 40 hours to digitize an intake and exhaust in the chamber. And that gets it down without trying eight hours. Okay. So now you can do one off, everything yeah. you do is one off, you can do one off stuff every day. So the way they do it, Rick, is they hand port a intake runner or an exhaust runner until they're happy with it. Mm -hmm. And they'll go to the flow bench and check it, and maybe pour a little more on it and they keep modifying. And then once they get the shape of it by hand with grinders, happy then they scan it into the computer and then they can duplicate it a million times over 
in the machine. Gotcha. Yep. In a fraction of the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's not really. It's not. It's not scanned. It's probed. Oh, okay. So, so it's just, just you get chasing a bunch of points. Exactly. It just it'll go. Through I'm sure they have ones that do scan now. They probably do because yeah. people talk when I send pistons out, domes out to get them pistons done. They they say they scan. Them. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it works as good because I've never had a piston made. I thought that was perfect. Too, yeah. So. Hmm. Pretty good, but not yeah. perfect. I guess he's just testing it, but I don't know why there's nothing coming out. So I have to ask him. So <laughs> nothing on the table, so. <laughs> It had a, he was trying to, he was printing a scoop the other day, and I come out here and it got about a quarter way done, and literally the printing head was in like 10 pieces. Oh, I, I, I don't even know how it could break it. There's a fan over here, and the, the feeder over there, and the heater over there. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Something bad happened in here. <laughs> uh, it's God, a 3D it's printer murder. I, <laughs> I hate that machine. It breaks every time. So cool. That's supposed to be training your new, you got your new monitor yet? Yeah. You want to see it? It's yeah. Like, well, we're hoping to dyno it this weekend. It's uh, right here. Ta-da! <laughs> that's, that's Ian. That's my baby. Ian's baby right there. Hey, what, what's the main difference between your old motor and the new motor? We really concentrate on getting heads big enough to feed. You can never get... The heads are big enough to feed a 960 cubic inch engine. Right. So if we work with Visner to try to get a bigger, better, better. Yeah. Are the heads on another one still in, or are they yeah. still? Yeah. They are built. Mm -hmm. He's trying to sell us the old one. I kind of want the new one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we really can't afford the new one. <laughs> Sweet one. So yeah, if you look at the front, it should look similar. Everything is yeah. copied up here, but the engine itself is pretty much different. So. It's awesome how they're all lightened and pocketed to get weight out of the, the monster cylinder head. Yeah, when they, when they first had the heads built, they was 15 pounds a piece heavier than my old one. Yeah. And our car's already too heavy. Yeah, you're so right. I sent them back to Dave, something. and I said, Dave, we <laughs> can't, can't be 30 pounds behind the eight ball, and he, he carved off good. So. Yeah. <laughs> They look beautiful. Yeah. Yep. So you helped design this cylinder head, then? Well, I worked with him to tell him what I wanted, and he tried to, you know, he's a he's a the billet CNC guy, but he yeah. tried to incorporate what I asked for in there. So. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I wonder how many hours it takes him to machine that block. It's got to be a lot because it's they first be they, they they rough it all out. Then it gets sent out to get heat treated. Then it gets final. Oh, gotcha. So they leave it all a little bit big because it warps up a little bit. Yeah. I, there's a reason they cost fifteen, twenty thousand dollars just for the block. So. Yeah. I mean, really, just looking at it, you're like, that's started I mean, out as a block of aluminum. That's yeah. Yeah. not a <laughs> big number. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Just that block by itself, is probably a couple grand. Probably. Is. <laughs> yep. Sure it is. That's just so much work. Man, look at the size of them pushing us. Just a little 5 8 baby. 75 millimeter camshaft. That's awesome. You like working on this one, Ian? There's a lot of work. Yeah. A lot of pain, but he sure complained about it a bit. But I think it's going to run because he bled in it many times. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. A lot of he didn't even try that out before he put the heads on. He was like, he's going to have it. That, <laughs> that passenger side banks, those pistons are covered in my blood. I'll tell you that. Hope it's not corrosive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's That's beautiful. Nice. Cool. Thank you. Hopefully it runs. We'll see. Got our new manifold ports over there. Six new kits on there. Visitor did all that too, didn't he? The manifold. Most of the time he, he just builds some banks for us and we weld them together, but he welded that one up. Yeah, he did that nice job. Oh yeah. All the starts and stops line up, so that's cool. they're all the same on all the. Hey, thank you guys for putting them. Uh, did you put it together, Dave? Or thank you. I did a good time. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. I see Dave. He said he doesn't want to put motors together anymore. He's, <laughs> he's an office yeah, guy he's now. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's done one. a little bit today. <laughs> now, thank you guys. We appreciate no, you so much. Don't worry for you. Now. Uh, hopefully, we don't see you for a little bit. Uh, that would be great. Hopefully. Hey, good luck. All right, you all right, thank you. you. Easy. 
It might not hurt to get some spare pistons because you have none. You had four spares and we used them all. No. Oh. Okay. But I don't think we ordered any. I've been meaning to ask you for some. I'll go ahead and order them. Okay. Yeah, get at least four or, I mean. Well, hello. You think you should just get a set? I'd be eight. Yeah. But the other two should have been decent. Yeah. Like good the enough that I could have slapped on in at the racetrack. The skirts through. was the. Uh, oh, the skirts? The skirts was collapsed. Oh. I didn't know that. Yeah. It wasn't burnt. Uh, what causes the skirt to be ever? Running them hard, they just they got rattled a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what though, when that uh, dropped that valve, it did a whole lot more damage. That. Well, yeah, that's the one that got the valve. This was the well, cylinder next to it, obviously. When, when this dropped and it got unhappy, it might it, it might have beat them up then. It, yeah, it probably did. Because up until that point, we had well, never. That one's not been run, has it? Or did he just blast it? I don't know. This one's either new or been blasted. That one looks new. So he might have only put. Uh, Maybe he put three in it. No, nah, he blasted it. Yeah, oh, if you look at it, it's uh, this was a usable pissing or he wouldn't have cleaned it up. Oh, okay. But yes. And that one he didn't clean up, so it must be squashed really bad. It's got a little black death going on. Yeah, stuff on like the that. sides there. So we have one. Yeah. We got one do over. Okay, that's fine. Don't mess up. That's all I need. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and order a seat, Tony. <laughs> hey, I'll say, I didn't need any pistons last year. That just... Yep, until the until valve until checked out. Yeah, but if we're in Texas or something and we need to put a piss in it. <laughs> Heck yeah. All fixed up. I think we should just leave this in. We'll leave this here for trade in because we already got a lot of work to do. Yeah, I'm just going to take the other one. <laughs> You moved the, the all office work day? Well, yeah, for the most part, last three or four weeks. I was just totally burnt out on the whole engine building thing. And after 22 years, I've been you know, not just here, but around building engines. And it's been plenty of yeah, Keep it close to the tailgate here. Awesome, there you go. You guys got a race coming up soon? Or? I'd like, we got a race to do, I'd like to be at in April. We were going to try to go to the lights out, but he actually had a, he had a case to do the real life. We're going to go to the lights out for April, mm -hmm. but, um, because the car actually fits, or not the car, the car, but the, this combo fits really good at LDR. Uh, they're running fast over there. Yeah, so I'm kind of glad now, thinking about it, like, because we probably would have about wore this thing out. Yeah, you probably would have burned it. Yeah, and then they would have been, been back had, here. You would have had to lean on it, probably, the LDR guys. But those are heavy cars, too, and they got to run, what, 295 tire? They run on, like, a yeah. real radio. So yeah. this deal, the 5-inch with the lockup in LDR can be 2,500 pounds. Damn, really? So that's a great combo. Yeah. But I don't, Charlie won't, we ended up cutting it really far apart. And uh, just to try to get one right, right. Yeah, 2500 is pretty light. I mean, this is aluminum block and all could probably be done. I don't know. I mean, these nitrous, that's the problem with the nitrous cars is that the turbos and stuff all make so much power now that they, you know, they can't hardly put any more weight yeah. on the turbo combinations. And they're trying to run against the nitrous guys. You can't hardly get the nitrous cars, cars light, light enough. enough. Yep. So, yeah. yeah. But for the no prep stuff, obviously there's no weight. So it's like, how light we can get it. Right, right. So, and it ran really good last year. I mean, this thing should make good power. It's just been around a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's all good stuff. Big motor and put a ton of juice through it. And I'm sure I don't think you've ever, have you guys ever had a chassis dyno in any of you? Just on this track. We were supposed to, we were going to put it on the chassis dyno last year. We kind of ran out of time and then, you know, it got to the racetrack and it ran good and we just, uh, whatever. Well, yeah, you know how it is. Uh, last year we probably put we had three kits, but what did you spray? Oh, how much we spray through it? Mm. With all three kits on, and we were spraying like uh, thirty-five hundred pounds an hour. So, so that's like oh, that maybe uh, thousand horsepower. Yeah, ish nine hundred. Yeah. So it makes. Yeah, that's yeah. well. That's what we figured. We made a little it, bit north of two thousand. And you can probably get you know as much as you need in early. Yeah, whole, whole nitrous thing. Yep. You get it in early and 
we were afraid last year we ran it with a two speed on the no prep because we didn't, we didn't want to shift it a bunch. Mm -hmm. And he really did good getting that figured out. So the trans is we're turning into a three speed now. So that should help. Yeah. Well, the how low was first year? Well, last year we raced it at 3,100 pounds. Right. Yeah. So now I don't know what it, like, I don't know exactly what it's going to weigh, but yeah, it should be. Way better. Yeah, yeah, way better. You guys are the chase, you guys. I'm not even a racer. I can't afford to do any of this stuff, really. So. I'll pull up a little bit. We'll see if you're close to the ground. 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 Man, what a good time. We got another giveaway for you guys. This is going to be awesome.